And then something else crazy happened, guys. Oh my god. Remember my top 10 worst bites video? Well, because this is familiar, look what happened. Not even from Merlin. Hello, my sniffers. Today is day two with Merlin. Good morning. For those of you who are newbies, welcome. I hope I can make you a sniffer. Here we go. Today, ah, he's already looking at me. It's day two. I'm going to wake Merlin up. You want to come wake him up? George wants all the attention. Merlin. Wow, George, look at those pants. Yeah, they're tied on base pants. Hello there, Merlin. See if he'll step up like. Good two. morning, buddy. Let's see if he'll step up to you, being as like he knows he's gonna Hello. come. Hello. Wanna come out? Step up? Yeah. Okay, now don't let him stay on the cage. Oh. Take him immediately somewhere come on, where baby. he can be included. Let's go over here. Are you hungry? Here you go, baby. Again, you guys see that Marlin's perched right here on a chair. It's just another easy way to get them included. For example, birds being able to perch in lots of different areas in the house, they immediately know that they can just go everywhere with you and there would be a spot for him. Merlin, wanna step up? Step up? Oh, hi! What a good boy you are! What a good boy! You're interested in everything, huh? This is day two. Oh, here, Merlin, look. Guys, since my lens is broken from the parrot rescue and the drain, that part where Merlin walks up to the fridge didn't take, but I'll get it again. I'm sure he'll do it later. But anyway, George made him some breakfast. So he's eating. He's pretty happy. Extremely food-driven bird. All the birds are kind of obsessed with their breakfast. Georgie refuses to eat it in the cage. It's rice scrambled with eggs. Vinny's loving it. Look at your beak. I'm really happy guys that we got Merlin on a Friday so George would be home for the weekend and then we would have all weekends for us both to socialize with Merlin equally because the first few days the imprint is very important. But it's not just the first few days, like George could spend a lot of good time with him this whole weekend and then over the week I could get him attached to just me but I really don't want to do that. I want him to love both of us, you know? We'll see what happens. Okay guys, so here are the things that have happened so far today with Merlin. This is Jersey, she's eating her pomela, or pomelo, I don't know what you call it in English. And Merlin is eating his bread. Okay, first thing that happened was George went over to work on his computer and Merlin flew over to him and hung out. That was one exciting thing. What? And the other thing was then it had been hours and Merlin Merlin was just chilling with George and then later he was chilling on a stand while George was watching TV. And then we brought out dinner and Merlin's cage is not in the kitchen. And I kid you not, he flew in here, landed right here and we picked him up and he said, want some? Like he's hungry and he was like, want some? So every time we're eating something he wants, he says, want some? I can't believe it. It's pretty amazing. I mean, for him to like talk and communicate and die to be integrated on like day two, Today's day two, I think, is pretty amazing. I haven't formally introduced him to any of the birds, but obviously he sees them. I'm gonna do that soon. So that's what's happened so far. Has he said anything else today that you remember? He barked. Oh yeah, he barked. At the yeah, time. he's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. What else did he do? Oh, he said hi to you or something, right? He said also to Marla. Oh yeah, didn't he say Marla? So, sound like oh Marla. my God, and when you and went he outside, said he said George. Oh, let's show them how we did, how we taught him to say our names. So this is how we teach him. George left and I said, George, come here. And then George comes and I said, hi. hi, George, how are you? How are you doing? Then I leave. Marlene, 
Come here. Hi. Hi. So we've been doing this in front of him <laughs> to show him our names. That's how you teach an African gray. Obviously, you saw George walk away, then you saw me walk away, and what he's gonna witness from that is a result. He's gonna see that when George says, Marlene, come here, he's gonna hopefully learn my name. But also, you wanna refer to something he knows so that that will confirm it. So, we've been telling him, name Merlin. Hi, Merlin. I'm sure he knows his name is Merlin. So then I say, name Marlene. Name Marlene and then name Leo and name George. So we've been doing that a lot today. And I swear he said George when George left. Did you say George? I thought you said George, I couldn't believe it. And George says, you did? He's like, and yeah. George says that he said Marla. It's day two, I don't even know how that's possible, but Vinny can kind of do that too. Are you having fun here? And as far as stepping up, like he steps up easily. We haven't tried to get him from his cage today he to usually step gets up. Off on his own. Yeah, it, every time today, like he hasn't been on his cage much, which is very important for a second day socialization with a bird. So I still don't think we'd be able to like pick him up off his cage. Don't pull him out and put him on top of his cage because then he just learns to stay there and be territorial. So we still haven't tried to get him off of his cage today off the top. And I don't think that's gonna happen today, but we'll try. So stepping up is not a problem, but it still is from the cage. It's unbelievable. You just integrated yourself. I honestly thought that like this was gonna be a case of like him only liking me and only wanting to come to me, but he just included himself more than Cody. Cody let you pet him right away. Cody loves us. We could grab and kiss Cody and pick him up, but Merlin just wants to be so involved in the family right away. It's impressive. And again, that's all about being inclusive with the bird. We haven't let him go back. We, If he, we thought he wanted water, we give him water here from a cup. If we thought he wanted food, we feed him here. That's all part of it. Vinny, what do you got to say about that? <laughs> time for bed? Who needs to go to bed, Vinny? Oh, he said time for bed again. I'm telling you, he's saying time for bed. Well, what's going on? Are you right tired? Now? Who needs to go to bed? Jenna. <laughs> Jenna's not here, buddy. That usually means she, he wants the dog to go away. He sees Harry, so he's calling Jenna. He thinks, like, come take care of the dog. Is Jenna a traitor for moving you? So we need to choose a birthday. He's like a Valentine's Day bird. Was it the, the day after? The 15th. 15th. So the 15th is your... Is your birthday now. Now, what are we saying about his, um, his age? How old is he now? He's probably like 21. Did you ask him how long she, she had? She had him six months. And the was, other lady had him 20 years. Jersey, I have to say yay, even if she doesn't get it on, because then she doesn't want to play if she's not getting praise. Yay! Marlon, do you want to play? Okay guys, so that's day two with Merlin. We played a little bit, ate a lot, chilled out, relaxed, just overall included. I don't think Merlin was in his cage at all once he got out of it. And then he was on top of it maybe once. And he's been barking at the dogs. 
So obviously he lived with a dog before because he knows about it. And then something else crazy happened, guys. Oh my god. Remember my top 10 worst bites video? Well, because this is familiar, look what happened. Not even from Merlin. So I tried to tell you guys about these little birds. So I picked Monty up and I had him on my shoulder. And then I thought, oh, I'll get Nelly and I'll like kind of start moving on back to get ready for bed. And then Jersey climbed up me. This is what I wasn't expecting. And they both got jealous and one bit my neck, Nelly, and then Monty bit my neck. And then I went to put my hand and you could see my hands bleeding and either of them or one of them, two spots here and here, bit my fingers. I was, <laughs> remember how I said I don't scream, I'm so chill when I get bit? No, I was like, <gasps> Ah, cause it's like my neck. I've never really been bit by a neck, except one time I got bit in the neck by a macaw in a bird store like 20 years ago. I kid you not. Anyway, we put the mask on it. Remember I told you guys about the mask? So like seal it up so it won't have any scars. It hurts. So I had a little bit of non-camera downtime. And that's it. I'm gonna put the birds to bed. And after I say goodbye to you guys here, I'm gonna show you some footage of Merlin going to to bed of course I'm gonna do all their food and water now and uh, yeah I hope you're enjoying these updates with Merlin I want to let you know I've been able to get these videos out a little bit faster because I have my friend Chris helping me edit so for those of you who really understand what it takes and you want to help me keep Chris to keep giving you guys content keep educating the world on birds join my exclusive community on patreon if you can't don't worry just follow it because you you'll at least see things that I'm up to. Everyone on Patreon knew before about Merlin as soon as he came here. So you get to know everything, see exclusive content, get all my videos early. So it's quite a fun uh, thing. With you guys, I want to do big things for birds and I think that together we can all do that. Don't forget to check out my other links in the description. You'll see my Amazon store, things that I buy for my birds. I find that very helpful don't forget to bookmark that and if you want a cameo request don't be shy I love doing them they're so much fun they are shout outs to you your friends whoever your mom your dad whatever kids love you guys so much bye Okay guys, so George put Merlin here. Now it's time for bed. Does that look good? We made him a little soak and serve. So it's like soaked food. So we're trying to use this to teach him to go in there at night. Mm -hmm.